1962, President John F. Kennedy proclaimed May 15th National Peace Officers Memorial Day and the week in which May 15th falls as National Police Week. This is a time to honor our law enforcement officers who have made the ultimate sacrifice in service to our nation. I have spent much of my career in the Department of Justice and as a judge, and I am constantly inspired by the extraordinary courage and dedication with which members of law enforcement act each day. Our federal, state, local, and tribal law enforcement members put their lives on the line to make our communities safer. That was true of FBI Special Agents Daniel Alfin and Laura Schwarzenberger, who were killed earlier this year in the line of duty while executing a court-ordered search warrant and a Crimes Against Children investigation in Sunrise, Florida. And it is true of hundreds of others who made the ultimate sacrifice in service to the communities over the last year. This past year, members of law enforcement faced unprecedented challenges. When the global pandemic struck last Mar March, many Americans began working from home. Federal agents, police officers, deputies, troopers, and correctional officers did not have that option. Already committed to high-risk jobs, our law enforcement continued to serve despite the additional risks the virus posed to their health and safety. And it took a terrible toll. Of the hundreds of members of law enforcement who died in the line of duty in 2020, nearly two thirds succumbed to COVID-19, including Special Deputy Marshal Brian Leith McGee and Special Deputy Marshal Anthony Charles McGrew. We also mourn the loss of Deputy U.S. Marshal Betty Ann Pascarella, who died of, from an illness stemming from the terrorist attacks on 9-11. And so this week, we remember and give our thanks to those whose lives were lost in service to their community. To members of law enforcement and your families, we know that not a single day nor a single week is enough to recognize your service and sacrifice. On behalf of the Department of Justice, you have our unwavering support and eternal gratitude. Thank you.